now all day. We have made Kempo work answering all of our questions. And I would like to ask Kempo if he has any questions for us about what it is that we're doing, studying Tibetan Buddhism in the university. Um, and also if he has any advice for us about what he thinks is most important for us to be studying or how we should be studying. Okay. Sushanvin 那么藏传佛教的研究过程当中对你个人而言有什么样的束缚你作为一个大学教授就是你对别人呢就是要相说的是藏传佛教对你带来什么样的I first heard about Buddhism when I was an undergraduate. I took a class called the History of Indian Buddhism at Yale University. And my professor used the Sanskrit word yata bhutam, the way things are. The Buddha taught the way things are. And I wrote that in my notebook when I was 19 years old. And I was fascinated because when my teacher explained what the Buddha meant by that, suffering, impermanence, no self, I thought, wow, that's really true. That's, that's really true. And so ultimately, I was fascinated first and foremost because the Dharma made sense to me, and I thought there was something there for me to learn. Now, uh, that was 20 years ago, and I am still studying. It's wonderful to have something like Tibetan Buddhism to spend my life studying because I can never really know it or I can never really finish learning. So getting a PhD isn't the end, it's actually just the beginning to learning more. Um, I'm fascinated by Buddhism because I think it has something to teach me about why people suffer and how to live a life that is not self-centered and I strive to take that message to heart. I'm also interested in Tibetan culture because I'm fascinated intellectually by Tibetan literature, language, history. So this is something that is not just about dharma, it's also about intellectual fascination and they are both there. Sorry, that was long. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, 呃，你最喜欢的这个四个是什么？就是这个为什么？The mm. um, first poem that I think I really um, fell in love with was the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock by T. S. Eliot. Um, it's a poem that I think like most college students encounter at some point, and a lot of people that's like a kind of gateway for them to. Um, English language poetry and um, it's very like funny and dark and um, yeah um, I think you know it's the first poem I wanted to memorize so yeah 很好我跟这个教授问一下就可能算可以了时间吧你对这个张传佛教的谈话艺术有什么样的看法和有一些建议 
one one thing that that um, I guess I would say is it uh, that I admire is the constant reformation and development of um, um, painting without losing uh, its fundamental purpose. Uh, so that as potential um, stand-ins for the presence of the Buddha, um, that has remained um, of central purpose. But each region, each time period, perhaps even each um, lineage has developed it and made it its own. <coughs> 